Okay, so when you woke up in the morning and you look into the mirror, what do you see? Thank you for the question. Last night I was not able to speak in front of all the public, but during the talent round, talent round all the crowd was very appreciative and I'm very thankful for the Dhamsala students, Dhamsala people and all the audience for encouraging me and sending me texts in social media and Facebook. When I woke up in the uh, morning, I, I see myself more confident and I see the inner me calling to speak out, to be more confident and was able to do it today. Thank you so much. So there are a lot of conversations I'm sure in New York about like uh, what feminism is about and a lot of feminists think that uh, beauty pageants objectify women. What is your reaction and take to that? Thank you so much for the question, sir. Well, in general, I'm a proud Tibetan young woman and even though I did not grow up in India, most of my life I've spent in America so I cannot speak to Ben that well. In general, I feel that beauty pageants are meant to empower women. We don't just look for the outer beauty, but we look for the inner beauty. Especially us to Ben uh, society, we believe that inner beauty is more beautiful than outer beauty. So I'm completely and honored and glad that I came all the way from New York City to Dharamsala to compete for this year's Miss Tibet 2017. And I'm extremely proud of myself that I came this far. Thank you very much. Okay. So I have a tough one for you because I believe that Miss Tibet is also about courage, right? So are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. If you could change one thing about the present Tibetan society, what would that be? That is actually a nice question. If I could change one thing in our Tibetan society, Especially for women, I would, it would probably be the confidence. We, the Tibetan women, especially, are lack in confidence. Actually, me, myself, as living in Europe, in Austria, the other girls are so confident they can answer everything in the classroom. But I also know the answer, but I couldn't answer it. Why? Because I'm lack of confidence. I don't have, I have the confidence, but not like them. This is why I came on this stage to tell you guys, to tell the Tibetan woman that we are beautiful inside, outside. We are incredible. All you need is to build up your confidence. If you have to tell a person who don't know anything about your culture in just one word, what that word will be and how that word you will imply to the different aspects of your culture. Elaborate. Thank you so much, ma'am, for the question. I'll tell the person who did not understand properly about our culture. I'll, I'll tell them our culture is rich and it's full of in, uh, in a sense of love, peace and compassion. Thank you, ma'am. So you can give a nice message to all here. What a woman can learn from a man. Thank you so much for your lovely question. A woman can learn from women everything. We all are human and we all need a one chance. A chance of our education, a chance of our a chance of a life, a chance of a future. We all have each and every one has an opportunity. We all have a we all have an opportunity to help one person, but ex while you help one person but expect nothing in return. This is how I call humanitarian. And this is how I inspire to other women from myself. This is all the problem. Thank you. Do you feel that a mother has more 
important role in nurturing or rearing a child than a father? And if so, why? Uh, well, good evening everyone. Thank you so much for the question. Um, well, I believe that for rearing up of children, both mother and father support is needed. For nurturing a child, if a mother only raised a child, the love from father they will be missing. So I believe that uh, the child need both love, care and support from their both parents, that is mother and father. So I don't think that uh, if we rear the children along, uh, if, if, if the children is raised by a single mother, they will miss the love and care from their father. So I believe that the child should be loved by both their parents. It's, I would like to learn something from all of you because from the first time that I, uh, you know, ever stepped into Dharamshala, I was caught by the niceness of Tibetans and I could not understand how people could be so happy and so nice. So tell me, what according to you is the most important uh, quality of a good human being? Or you can take it like, what is it that makes a Tibetan a Tibetan? Okay, thank you so much for your question. Well, I think His Holiness the Dalai Lama always says others before self. That's what all Tibetans do. They think about others before thinking about themselves. We have to help. They help everyone which is in need. That's the best quality we Tibetans have. Thank you.